going to take this frame and he's going to shake it in his tub. So hand it to him. First of all, we want to make sure that there's brood here. There is. There's brood and the queen is not on there. That's right. correct. And then we're going to shake it into here. Quick snap. Quick snap. Just like that. Okay? Put it back in there. Now, the bees that are flying away are foragers. The ones that are staying in there are brood bees and those are the ones you want so we're going to take a half a cup and we're going to pour it in here and then we're going to put the top on it and we're going to shake it real quick and that'll dispatch the bees and then we're going to put this back in here like that then We're going to shake this, make sure that they've all died. Okay, you don't want to take that lid off and have the bees alive. No, uh, just, I got to get more alcohol. Yeah, I could get spirit cells. Still, yeah, that's right. what we need. I, I, I should have brought I had a case of chrome. That's some, some hard, some hard stuff. So when you when you put your bees in here, you only had alcohol halfway up the little basket. And if you had alcohol all the way to the top, you wouldn't get a good representation of, of how many bees you have in there. So now I know that there are two little lines on the side. I don't know if you can see them. And you want to, the bottom line is going to be 200 bees. The top line is going to be 300 bees. And once, once you've dispatched them, then you're going to go ahead and fill this all the way up like that. And you're going to put the top on, make sure you get it tight. How many uh, bees were in there? 300. Okay. And you're going to shake it. Now, a lot of the kits that are out there for sale don't have those lines on them. They're really cheap. But yep. these here have that line on it. That's why we use these. It gives you a real good indicator how many you have. And I'll shake this for a minute or so. Then I'll set it down, go do something, come back and shake it again. But for this demonstration, we're just going to shake it for about a minute. I think we'll hear it. And what I usually do is take this and just kind of float it like this in case there are any that are stuck to the bees or anything like that and you're going to lift it up and then you can look down in there at first and right off the bat I see possibly three mites and then take it up into the light boy I can definitely see and I see yep one two three, three four no four mites you have to be careful because little pieces of debris look like the mite so you're looking for an oval shape that's a reddish brown and some of these little things have tails and mites don't have tails so we've got We've got, double check, one, two, three, four mites in this hive. So with four mites, that's a signal to treat. Okay. Next, before you're done, just to be safe, even though we knew where the queen was in this hive, sometimes you won't be able to find your queen. So you're going to shake out the bees that you dispatched and and you're going to check and make sure that the queen isn't there because if she's there you're going to need to go get a new queen <laughs> cpr won't work that won't work on these you're going to want to treat if there's more than two if you figure that this hive probably has somewhere in the neighborhood of 10,000 15,000 bees in it right now and you've got four mites and you only check 200 I don't have a calculator with me, but that's a lot. And considering that they're going, she's going, that 
female mite is going to lay anywhere from four to five eggs in each one of these cells and one or two possibly three of them are going to emerge out of there in 21 days uh, you've got a lot of mites yeah. say, say 1500 or 15,000 so if you had four mites for 300 bee sample and there are 15,000 bees in this hive then that's 2,000 mites that you might have in the box. That's a lot of mites.